Have you ever heard this quote? There is no nobility in poverty. I have been a rich man and I have been a poor man and I choose rich every f***ing time. Yeah. Or what about this one? I've been poor and I've been rich. Rich is better. And I'm sure everyone has heard this one. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Now, money doesn't buy me happiness, but the things I do buy with it sure does make me happy. Now, in this video, I want to take you behind the scenes to explain why these quotes are true, why your net worth skyrockets once you reach $100,000, and provide actionable tips on how to reach and exceed that $100,000 milestone. Now, let's dive into the why. Why does your net worth surge at $100,000? Many people believe that reaching a certain financial threshold opens doors to exclusive opportunities, leading to superior investments with higher returns. This is a significant reason why the wealthy continue to amass more wealth. However, two other crucial factors significantly contribute to this phenomenon, and neither of them involves having access to special investment types. Factor 1. Scale of Capital Let's first consider the concept of capital scale. Think about different investments, all yielding the same 10% return. If you invest $1,000 at a 10% annual return, after one year, your investment grows to $1,100, giving you a $100 profit. If you invest $10,000 at the same return rate, your investment grows to $11,000, giving you a $1,000 profit. But now, if you invest $100,000 at the same 10% return, your investment grows at $110,000, resulting in a $10,000 profit. While the investment risk and time frame remain constant across these examples, the absolute profits vary greatly. Scaling your capital results in higher absolute returns, thereby accelerating your wealth accumulation. This is a fundamental principle in investing. The more money you invest, the greater your absolute returns, even if the percentage return remains the same. Factor two, compound interest. The second factor is compound interest, which is often hailed as the eighth wonder of the world. And side note, I've been to all seven wonders of the world. If you want to discuss travel, let me know in the comments. I'm always down to talk about travel. Compound interest means earning interest not only on your principal investment or your initial investment, but also on the accumulated interest over time. For example, saving $1,000 each month with an 8% annual return after six and a half years will grow your net worth to $100,000. However, reaching the next $100,000 takes considerably less time, just four years, because you are now earning 8% on a much larger sum, including the interest earned on your initial $100,000. Consequently, each subsequent 100K milestone is reached more quickly as compound interest propels your financial growth. Understanding compound interest with numbers. To illustrate, let's say you save $1,000 every month with an 8% annual average return. After six years, you reach a net worth of $100,000. That's a considerable time to reach the first milestone of 100K. However, the time required to reach the second milestone of the next 100K shortens drastically. This time, you'll earn an 8% return on a larger amount which includes the $100,000 you already saved and the interest that has already accumulated. As a result, the time to reach the next 100K reduces to only four years, nearly half the time it took to reach the first 100K. Then to reach the next 100K, after that, it would take just over three years. You'll notice that the time it takes to earn each additional $100,000 gets shorter and shorter as you have money working for you and the interest on that money working for you as well. By the time you reach $1 million, an extra $100,000 from interest alone will take just over a year. The hardest and most time consuming part is often at the beginning because you don't have compound interest working for you just yet. So you must do a lot of the heavy lifting yourself. It's almost like pushing a car that ran out of gas. It takes a lot of energy to focus to push it from a dead stop, but as you get going, it starts to roll under its own momentum with you putting in minimum effort and just steering it in the direction you want it to go. That's kind of like how investments go. This is why a lot of financial advice for beginners focuses on optimizing every penny. Cutting out small expenses and making frugal choices can seem trivial, but these small financial wins are essential to get you to your first 100000 now, I'm not saying you can't enjoy your avocado toast or fancy coffee, but you can reduce or eliminate them temporarily to add to your investment war chest. And once you reach your milestone, every success adds up quickly and the wealth building process becomes a lot easier. Given the importance of capital scale and compound interest, what can you do to make sure you are not left behind if you haven't saved $100,000 yet? Now, here are some practical strategies that I've used to grow my wealth. Strategy one, increase your investment duration. 
Let's say you earn a $60,000 salary and invested $20,000 of it annually, which amounts to about $12,000. After 23 years and an 8% average return, you'll have approximately $865,000. However, if you invest for just four additional years, you'll surpass 1.2 million. The most significant gains occur later in the investment journey, not at the beginning. Every day that you're not investing, you're missing out on a compounding effect and time benefit. Even without starting with 100K, beginning with whatever amount you can, over time, your investment will grow through compound interest, almost like a snowball gathering speed and size as it rolls down the hill. The real gains come at the end of the journey, not at the start. Therefore, every single day that you're not investing, you're losing out on an opportunity for time and compounded to work in your favor. Strategy two, increase your investment amount. Boosting your investment contribution can greatly enhance your overall net worth. Rather than fixating on finding an investment with significantly higher returns, focus on increasing your income to contribute more. This can be achieved through salary negotiations, starting a side business, or combining finances with a partner. For instance, investing $200 monthly for 30 years at a 10% return results in about $415,000. Doubling your monthly investment to $400 can grow your savings to $830,000. Prioritize maximizing your earning potential and view the stock market as a vehicle for wealth multiplication. Now, you don't have to do math, but yeah, that's fine. My approach is to concentrate on enhancing earnings and daily activities while consistently investing a small portion in the stock market. This strategy helps build strong investing habits early on and leverages compound interest. When you're ready to invest more substantial amounts, you won't be starting from scratch and will already have a head start. Leveraging current financial trends. In this year, the financial landscape continues to evolve with several notable trends. First off, we have the rise of AI and automation. Many sectors are adopting AI and automation, leading to new investment opportunities and potentially higher returns in technology-related stocks. Number two, sustainable investing. ESG, which stands for Environmental, Social, and Governance, is an investment strategy that is gaining popularity, offering investors a way to align their investments with personal values while potentially achieving good returns. Number three, cryptocurrencies and the blockchain. While really volatile, cryptocurrencies remain a popular investment option. Understanding the risks and potential rewards is crucial if you decide to venture into this space. So do your research and your homework. And number four, which is my personal favorite, real estate. Certain markets are experiencing a real estate boom. Investing in property can be a solid way to build wealth, especially as interest rates start to fall, making mortgages more affordable. And if you want to learn how to buy your first investment property in about 35 days, click on the video in the pop-up or in the link below. Now let's move on to how to navigate these trends. First off, you want to educate yourself. Stay informed about financial trends and new investment opportunities. Understanding emerging markets and technologies can help you make informed investment decisions. Number two, diversify. Spread your investments across various asset classes, including stocks, bonds, real estate, and again, maybe cryptocurrency. Diversification can help mitigate risk and enhance your returns. Number three, long-term perspective. Focus on long-term growth rather than short-term gains. Markets can be volatile, but a long-term perspective allows for you to benefit from compounding and ride out the market fluctuations. Building wealth and achieving financial independence requires understanding key principles like the scale of capital and compound interest. By maximizing your investment time horizon and increasing your investment contributions, you can accelerate your journey to financial success. Stay informed about current financial trends and make strategic decisions to navigate the evolving landscape. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and share amongst your network. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.